Hey guys, welcome back to Growing Up Godly. It is Ashlyn here and today I wanted to let you guys know about some health things that have been going on this summer that I haven't previously mentioned and just everything that's been going on with that and also what God has been teaching me in my life through it. So in March of this year at school, I banged my head against a metal towel hanger that was in uh, our sweet style bathroom in my college and I ended up with a concussion. I didn't know it at first, I didn't black out or throw up, um, it was pretty mild for a concussion but it was midterms week and I didn't really set aside any time to take care of it. I continued to look at screens and do work because I feel like I had to and I kind of did. <laughs> um, but I kind of just pushed through it and I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. Um, as time progressed, I tried to rest as much as I could from my concussion but the symptoms kind of lingered. I didn't, I had a headache when I saw this too much. I just had a general brain fog that kind of just descended <laughs> um, and it stayed for months. I was just exhausted all of the time. I started to get worn out, like just all of me, not just my brain. I was just burnt out, but I kept going anyway because I had so much on my plate for the first year of college. I came home for the summer and my parents were like, okay, the goal of the summer is to get you fixed. You've been talking about how you're not feeling well. And so it was just their goal to get me fixed. <laughs> I went to an eye doctor and they said I was perfectly fine. I got a CT scan and they said my head was perfectly fine. And it was really frustrating because I knew something was wrong I knew that my brain functioned better, I knew that I was in this fog and I knew it hurt and everyone was telling me I was okay. Based on some of my mom's research, we ended up trying functional medicine, which is just an approach that tries to stray away from just giving out prescriptions and then they actually get down to the core of why you're having symptoms, not just trying to eliminate the symptoms. So I went to a functional medicine nurse practitioner here where we live and she got some tests done and I had super low iron and super low vitamin D. So we had, we knew that now, but we still didn't know what, what was wrong with my head. And so my parents just advised me just to completely stay off the of screens as much as I could. And so I ended up on the couch unable to look at screens or focus or read or do any kind of work and that really opens your eyes to how you think and who you are. I think God teaches us a lot when he completely shuts down everything in our lives. I started realizing that without me doing anything or bringing anything to the table for other people or for God, I started wondering, well, then why should people love me? And why should God be pleased with me if all beauty and utility is stripped away? And I came face to face with my identity just when I could not provide anything for any other person. Who am I? and why am I here? And it was a very interesting season. It was pretty discouraging, to be honest. A lot of it was just confusion and just asking God what he wants to teach me through all of this. Um, but I remember sitting on the couch one day and just feeling a total peace even though I was stuck there and it was like it was exactly where I needed to be. Fast forward a little bit, our nurse practitioner ended up recommending a functional neurologist here in town. 
We ended up going to this neurologist and getting an assessment and she basically just told me, your head's screwed on wrong. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. I was like, finally, someone's telling me it's not okay. Because I had known that this whole time and everyone was telling me I was okay. And I knew I wasn't. And she developed a plan of exercises that I would come back and do twice a week. And then I would do exercises at home twice to three times a day. She ended up being just a huge, enormous blessing. We were um, just so amazed at everything that was wrong with my head. And I was so grateful that someone had finally said it was whack. <laughs> um, and we had a plan to get better. We had an answer. And I was so, so grateful for that but it didn't really make everything better, especially not immediately. I would go to the appointments and do these exercises for an hour, and then I would pretty much be out of commission for the next 24 hours. Um, my anemia was still bad, my vitamin D was still deficient, so we had a path and an answer, but it didn't really make anything better. And honestly, it was really frustrating not being able to do all the things that I wanted to do. I knew summer wouldn't last that long. I wanted to be with people and go do things, but I was just too tired. I physically couldn't. It was a frustrating season because you didn't know when to push through and when to just completely let your body rest. You didn't know the line between letting other people know what's going on and complaining about it. And throughout the season, like, I had faith and I held on to what I knew was true. But those little frustrations and discouragements and the pain and the disappointments, they kind of just built up inside. And one week, one day, pretty much, it just snapped. Something in me snapped emotionally and I just sobbed and <laughs> I just cried. I could not get off the bed without crying again. There was nothing. I just had nothing. I could present nothing. And I remember laying on this bed in a ball, just sobbing. And then I got this picture in my head of me in that same ball sobbing, but in his hands, and just this peace knowing I was exactly where he wanted me to be. And in that quiet moment of, well, it wasn't too quiet because I was sobbing, <laughs> I just heard God say, you want to please me more than you want to know me. This whole season of life, it all led to showing me and I spent all this time trying to please God. But God just wanted me to try to know Him, to pursue Him, to love Him. This verse kept popping into my head. It's from 2 Corinthians 12, I believe. <laughs> and it's, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. When we are weak, He is strong. His power fills us. So none of our brokenness is wasted. So yes, this summer sucked for me. I could barely get off the couch some days. I didn't do anything super exciting. We did go to Alaska. That was awesome. I can't complain about that. And if you haven't seen the Alaska videos, go see those because they are really awesome and beautiful and fun. And I worked really hard editing them. So please go see those. And I got to see my cousin. I got to do fun things, but it wasn't the summer I expected. And when things get hard and life sucks, you don't have to pretend like it doesn't. God is not afraid of your doubts or questions, and neither should your fellow Christians be. Be honest, be real, and allow His grace to be sufficient for you. His power is made perfect in your weakness. You are more than your brokenness. You are His, and that's all that matters. That's all you have to be. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your summer, school year, everything and yeah i'll see you in two weeks bye <laughs>